Hi everyone. Today I received a comment in one of my videos asking me um, if I can make a tutorial on how to delete an order item. Okay. So now I will show you how can you mass delete items from order item so that it's pretty easy. Uh, in Salesforce, whenever you go to any order, you will find the list of order items here. The issue is in order to delete any item of this list, you have to single select each item and click delete. Okay, today I am going to show you how to mass delete multiple items one time. So I will go to the order item object. In Salesforce, it's called order product. The API name is order item. Okay. In the fields and relationship, I will create a new field from the type checkbox and I will call it um, delete. Okay. Next, keep it visible for all profiles and save. Okay. Do you see here in the upper area of the page, the order item page layout, there is something called edit multi line layout. What is this layout? I will show you quickly. So, when you click edit products here, this page layout can be controlled from the multi line layout area here. So, I will click here and we, I will add the delete checkbox I just created and save. Now I expect beside the line description, I will find a new common called delete. Let's refresh and check. So edit products again. Now I have a checkbox called delete. So whenever I would like to delete an item, I just have to select it. Okay, uh, how can we configure a trigger so that whenever uh, the user select to delete a specific item and click save, the item will be deleted. I will return to my flow list and I will create a new flow. Okay. The flow type will be record triggered flow. Okay. For the object order item and the action should be um, action and related record. And the configure trigger, it should be a record is updated. So a record is updated. And the condition requirement, I will say all condition must met. And I will say deleted equal true. So the trigger will fire whenever an order product is updated. And the delete a checkbox equal true. And I will say the direct decision after this, it will be directly delete the record as soon as the delete checkbox is uh, checked. So delete record and when Salesforce asks you which record you would like to delete, you will select the record related to the trigger. So it will only delete the record with a checkbox for deletion. Okay, save. I will say order product After trigger. Okay, save and activate. Now, if I return it back here and let's refresh first our page and edit product. Now, if I mess select it, delete from several items like these three items. Okay, and if I click save, you see now. Three items has been deleted and the two items remain. So if I click the edit product again and delete this one also, save, perfect. You can add product as much as you need. One, two, three, okay. And it doesn't make sense to check delete here. If you would like to remove from this screen, if you would like to remove any one, you can click back and show selected and you can remove the product from here. But after saving, okay, let's put any quantity here. 
After saving, if you would like to delete or mass delete several items, you can just click delete. And now we expect the three items will be deleted. That's perfect. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video in order to get more videos like this. Thank you and have a great day.